This is the lab with the uh, teleporters. In fact, let me get out of that guy's way because they'll actually forget about me. They're not very smart. The AI in here was uh, marginal at best. In fact, like all game developers, I cheated every chance I got to make them seem smarter than they really were. Of course, the problem with the game is you have full information about an object, a creature, uh, that uh, so it's, or, and they have full information about you. So basically, they can get you any way you like. So you really want to make it seem real, even if it isn't quite. Um, the creatures in here are a different color, a different shape, and these are the teleporters that actually work. Um, they're not very smart, by the way. They, they um, uh, if they see you, like he sees me, uh, one trick to get away from them was to turn around and bounce into them, and then what happens, oops, I actually ran into the teleporter. Teleporter is actually cool. Let's uh, walk in there. And we close this. We teleport over to another teleporter, which is the whole idea. And in fact, you needed the forklift precisely because you could use the forklift to pick these things up uh, to uh, to move them from place to place so it allowed you to carry large heavy objects around. Uh, for example, transporting things between the colony and the spaceship. Uh, let's see what else there is here. Um, uh, let's see, level four. This is one of the lab levels. Uh, the elevator banks again. I, again, notice the, the mirror image at the top and the bottom. They use 256 pseudo degrees. So, um, basically, um, uh, and so basically, uh, sines, cosines could be stored in an 8-bit number, and then you just do a shift back, and you've got a pretty good estimate of what the actual rotation would be. In fact, you only had to rotate one of these cells, and you compute the rest with a uh, dx, dy addition. So that was pretty. That was pretty sweet. As you can see, there's many different kinds of creatures in here. But uh, this gives you a little taste uh, of, of Colony, uh, one of the early, early, early 3D shooter uh, real-time uh, adventure games. Um, obviously I had to get a lot of bang for my buck for the uh, number of polygons I had available. And, oh, the monolith room. I forgot all about this. This is great. This is a room you can get into but can't get out of. Which, um... <laughs> that was so mean. And you're back in here. Um, what was uh, really nasty and I did this all over the place and didn't realize that was just an extraordinarily rude thing to do. Was I put a lot of traps in the game that you couldn't get out of. This in particular, I think is the most renowned uh, and the, the meanest. Uh, literally, there is no way out of this room. Uh, it, it's connected to, by a door to another room. And in fact, yes, uh, in fact, I tried to model this as much as I could on uh, uh, 2001. Uh, Arthur C. Clarke just, in fact, died today, so this is uh, kind of fitting, isn't it? Uh, but nevertheless, uh, it, was, uh, it wasn't the highlight of the game in some ways, although people liked it, uh, oddly enough. Well, uh, anyway, this is The Colony, uh, 1987. Thanks very much.